Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. For the past couple months I've been working on this project and I've been really wanting to share it with you all. So I hope you enjoy it because it's taken me a long time. Alright, so to start off I kind of want to show you guys what this game is all about. Right now I'm laying down all the collectible items and I'll show you what they do in a second. So in my opinion one of the most useful items, the Vial of Tears, Basically, it makes Soli cry on the floor, and if the enemies walk into the tears, then they slowly die. So it's, it's pretty neat. I also just picked up this item called the Arctic Bomb, and basically what it does is it blows up and it freezes every enemy that surrounds it. There are also some keys that enemies drop, but clearly I just cheated and put one on the floor. But anyway, you can use the keys to open treasure chests, and then they have some cool items in them. Okay, so this item, the cloak, in my opinion, the cutest item in the game. Look at how cute Sully looks now, just look. He's so cute. Okay, anyway, it's an ability, and if you use it, then it grants you invulnerability for like 5 seconds and then a cooldown of 20 seconds. We've also got all these items that kinda edit your blubs, the little things that you shoot, and it's pretty self-explanatory, usually, so I'll just let you watch. And I should also mention that if you get past a certain point in the upgrade of that certain skill, I guess, then you get this cool little cosmetic item that pops up on Soli. Throughout the game you might stumble across a cute looking companion and basically they just follow you around and help you shoot stuff. And dude, come on, you can't tell me that they aren't cute. Like, come on. There's also this cool looking thing called the heart container and it follows you around like a companion does but it allows you to collect hearts and then to use the hearts whenever you need to kind of thing. So it's pretty neat. Ah yes, is it murked cheddar? Yes. So this item it makes you invisible to all the enemies in the room and they won't attack you. By the way, this item was inspired by Mercs over at twitch.tv slash Mercs. You should check them out. And actually when I was trying to, you know, show off a cool looking item, I, I broke the game somehow. I don't know. Anyway, so I, I went along to fix it. You're welcome. And well, here it is working properly. It replaces your first weapon with this scatter weapon, clearly. and. It's basically like puking on your enemies, kind of. I don't know. We have finally come to the point of where we can swallow pills. Alright, so this pill is called the teleport pill. And basically it teleports you back to the starting room. Pretty cool. And these other pills, pretty self-explanatory. But I'll jump in when I need to. So notice here my shoot speed before I used the rapid fire pill, and then notice it after. It's a pretty big difference. And this wee bit of an HP pill here, it just increases, or it, it, uh, it, it refills your hearts by two. Yes, two full hearts. And this friggin' cool item that I'm like insanely proud of. Well, uh, j just watch. So this is Soli's Ascension. A work in progress, but I'm, I'm getting there. And here I'm just showing off the options menu. I was pretty proud of it. Believe me, it was much harder to do than it looks. Okay, just, oh my. <laughs> Custom keybinds, by the way, pretty hard to do, but I'm happy I did it. We've also got the ability to seamlessly transition through resolutions and full screen. Pretty dope. You can also enter a custom seed, say you want to play the same level again, get the same items, same enemies, you know, pretty cool. 
And I'm guessing it's pretty obvious at this point, but each dungeon is procedurally generated. So I hope you enjoyed that little battle. That was the first room that you have seen so far. Two enemy types in there, two out of eight total. There's also two bosses, so I guess 10. But other than that, if something special happens, I'll show the video of it, but I'm not gonna bore you through each and every room. <laughs> I also forgot that that happened. That bomb explosion is pretty satisfying, if I do say so myself. It appears we have just run into our first bug. First bug that we found while playtesting. So this one, the hearts were playing audio when you walked over them, but you could not pick them up. So I went ahead and wrote it down, and I'm gonna fix that later. Just a short while after, you know, I found another bug. Wow. I, wow. You know. So this one, I was trying to use my pill by pressing Q, and it wasn't working. Turns out, I, I don't know what caused this bug. It didn't happen again, but... I'll write that down. So moments after, I found another bug, and I'm like, "What? What? What's going on here, dude? What the heck?" And I was just like, "What?" As a result, I'm like, "Nah, dude, this is too many bugs." So this is me fixing it. Alright, so I don't think you've seen this place yet. If you have, then somewhere I edited something wrong. I don't know. But this is the treasure room. And in here there's a vendor. And uh, the vendor talks to you. And gives you some back lore. Even though it's not really back lore, I just call it that. To make it sound cool. Okay, so last time, there wasn't a proper introduction to this, uh, this challenge room, because it bugged out last time. Anyway, so it's a challenge room. Waves of enemies spawn, one by one, and after each wave, you're guaranteed to get a good collectible item. While this isn't really a bug, it's still something wrong with my game. The challenge room, you know, it's supposed to be a challenge. That's that's why it's called the challenge room. You feel me? That wasn't a challenge right there. <laughs> so, here I am taking note. Alright, so you might be wondering, yeah, the enemies might be cool. They, they might not be. I don't know what you're thinking. But here is the first, the very first boss. The witch. Now, the witch does kind of slow attacks one by one, but it's still pretty difficult, and I hope you enjoy it, because it, it took me a little while to, to make the witch, you know. And look at me right here being smart, using that rapid fire pill. Oh yeah, dude. So after beating the boss and watching the witch go through a janky animation that I made really quickly, you can continue going through the levels. So like, this was level negative two I think I called it, and then if you go down that hatch then you'll go to level negative one. Pretty cool. So you just keep going. So hard face is boss number two. I couldn't come up with a better name for hard face, but if you think of anything, let me know. I'd be happy and open for new ideas, new names of anything actually. Not not just of names, but like, yeah. Anyway, this boss is much more movement based compared to the witch, and I guess you'll see what it does.
So now's a good time to mention that there is an end game to this game. And you can see that by going in the red hatch, you'll end up in the end game. Or you can keep going, it's optional. But I guess here's a little sneak peek of it. I'm not gonna show the whole thing because it would take like five plus minutes. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like my game. Please feel free to leave any suggestions, things I can improve upon, any ideas. I'd love that. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.